Alright, what's going on everybody? This is Chase Fan Number 9 here and I'm coming at you with another video. In this one I'll be talking about this past weekend's races from Nashville Super Speedway. Um I know it's been a while since I've done a race review, I've just not been up to it. Been busy with some online classes and the rail fanning as well. So since well, as of this recording, it's almost twelve thirty AM on a Tuesday so it's two days after the cup race at Nashville so yeah anyhow with that said I'm gonna talk about um this weekend's races so um truck race um there was some good racing there was good battles here and there um during the race well I thought John Hunter Nemechek well how do I put this I thought he was gonna dominate the race again but um, it seemed he just didn't have the truck to beat that night. Um, Grant Enfinger, he was looking like the driver to beat, but um, it seemed towards the end that he used up all his stuff, especially with all those restarts there towards the end, because the first two stages were good. Um, but the third stage, there were a few incidents here and there. Um, we saw lots of three four wide racing um we saw drivers sliding up the track um and all that and it seemed the outside lane was the preferred line on the start and restart so yeah but like i said grant and finger had the truck to be at the end but it seemed that he used up all his stuff and ryan priest was able to get around him and um he was able to score his first truck series win in his first start in the truck series. I'm like, wow, if Ty Gibbs can win his first Xfinity race, so can Ryan Priest in his first truck race. And man, I was so thrilled to see Priest win. I like Enfinger too. I want him to win, but like I, well, I just already said Enfinger used the ball stuff there at the end. I wouldn't mind if Todd Gilliland won too, but it is what it is. Um, Derek Krause, man, I tell you, he cannot catch a break for shit this year. I'm like, he had a good run going, but he seemed that he had a tire. Well, he got turned not in. How do you say it? It wasn't an intentional spin from Josh Berry, but um, yeah, Krause getting turned by Josh Berry pretty much effectively ended Cross's day night and his chance of winning and also William Byron making his first truck start in five years blew up early in the race so that was unfortunate for him um Xfinity race um it was okay um history well history was made everybody Kyle Busch officially made it to 100 wins and I'm well aware that he only has two more Xfinity races left this year. And will I be surprised if he goes five for five this year? Probably not. But if he does, then it's just I'm just like, oh, bother with it. Um, so, yeah. Um, Allgaier clearly was, well, he showed that he was the only Xfinity driver for capable of beating him. But, um it seemed Kyle Busch had the better car. Imagine if Kyle Busch failed inspection. That would have been, oh boy, that would have been interesting. We had a few incidents during the race. Um, one incident was the Daniel Hemrick, Michael Net wreck with Austin Sindrick. It, it was basically them reacting to um, um, when Algar slid up in the bush and I forgot who was but I think Hemrick got turned by someone and he got into Annette who then got into Cindric and Cindric had a hard hit um and I was glad to see him climb out of the car so yeah that was a bad deal at least Michael Nett managed to rebound for a top 15 finish Brandon Brown who had that cool um sponsor promotion video last week um he had a mechanical failure and he was done for and 
Several others had issues too throughout the race. Too many that I can only think of so many. And I forgot where he finished, but I think Josh Berry got a good finish in his last race with Junior Motorsports. Um, it was fun while it lasted. I can't wait to see what his plans are for next year. I hope he gets a full-time ride because that will be huge for him. So, yeah. Now, the cup race. Looking back on the cup race, um, yeah, the only thing that made that race bad was was with all the tire and brake failures. Um, we saw, well... Green flag flew, and the first driver out already is Quinn Half with a tire issue. Other drivers with issues, well, Tyler Reddick spun coming. Tyler Reddick, well, he spun on the apron. Bubba Wallace had two tire failures. Um, Chris, I think it was Haley who had something break in his car, and then Chris Busher probably ran over it, and they both hit the wall, and their days were done. Um. Ryan Priest unfortunately spun and it, it appeared to be an axle or um, something broke underneath the car. Yeah, so many issues in that race. Um, but um, it was no shock of the fact that Kyle Larson was once again dominant again. Um, he led all but 36 laps of the race and managed to save enough fuel at the end um but he had to deal with some he had to deal with the competition um he had to hold off bush and like i said he had to save a ton of gas and um he also had debris on his grill late in the race um thankfully jj yaley was able to help with larson get the debris off and he was able to cruise to the win from that point on um so yeah um, what else? Um, Kurt Busch, Denny Hamlin, Trix, they tried to save their fuel and tires, but they couldn't make it to the end, and they were forced to pit late. Um, Kurt Busch actually managed to make it to the line without pitting, so that was good. There were also different strategies. We saw some people come in, and some faked it. Um, some stayed out for big medium points, like Briscoe, well, he was one example, Austin Dillon, Daniel Suarez, and Chase Elliott. Um, so, yeah, there were some of the guys that played strategy um, throughout the race. And, well, some could make it and some could. Um, for Chastain and those other drivers towards the end there, um, they pitted, like, with less than... I think like 80 laps to go or something and when they restarted on that next to last caution I wasn't sure if it didn't look like they were gonna make it as well as some of the ones that stayed out but then another caution happened and they were able to catch a break and some well most of the, of the drivers that played strategy some of them managed to make it to the end so yeah and with that um Despite everything, Kyle Larson managed to hold off everyone, including Chastain, who got his best cup finish of second place. Um, was able to win again, Kyle Larson did. He made it three in a row as, as far as point races are concerned. But you can also count it four if you count the all-star race. So yeah, I tell you, man, my local guy from Elk Grove, Kyle Larson, he's on a roll this year. There's no stopping him now. I'm still aware of Harvick and Hamlin and Kurt Busch and so many others and Chastain too haven't won, but don't worry. I won't be surprised if they win so soon. Uh, and also Harvick and Almirola had good runs. Um, who else? Chastain, of course. Stenhouse, who was running second at one point, had a good finish. Daniel Suarez and so many others. And of course, I already talked about the Chase Elliott incident. Not going to go through that. Make sure you go check out my video from the other day. Um, Chase, who won stage one, well, that win was given to Kurt Busch because of the disqualification. And also, Trix had that stupid penalty where he got penalized for not being single file coming out in peril on that one caution. I'm like, that didn't make any sense. 
But anyhow, um, I hope NASCAR learns their lesson for next year if they return to Nashville, and I hope everything next year goes better. So with that, thank you guys for watching. This has been Chase Fan Number 9. With that, I'll see y'all in the next video. All right. Bye, everyone.